Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there is John Lewandowski. We are the hosts of this wonderful show. John makes the graphics. I inform him of all of which ones need to be made. <laughs> um... I would like to begin this since um, I will not be able to uh, do a show on Saturday. Um, that I would like to thank the Admirals, just for me personally. I already went up to their president and their owner today and thanked them on a wonderful season, even though, like I said, I can't do it. Uh, Saturday, I'm unavailable, as well as John is. Um, so Saturday, we will not be doing a show. Um we will, however, uh, possibly be here for Sunday. As a, yeah. <laughs> um, I have two places at the same time I need to be. <laughs> uh -huh. All righty. Um, today, the Milwaukee Admirals took on the uh, Chicago Wolves. I mean, Manitoba Moose. Uh -huh. Game 70 to 72, isn't it? You know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. So, like you said, Milwaukee Admirals took on the Manitoba Moose. Let's get into this. Shots on goal in the first period. Manitoba outshot Milwaukee fourteen to four. In the second period, Manitoba outshot Milwaukee seventeen to eleven. In the third period, both teams had ten shots, and Manitoba outshot Milwaukee forty-one to twenty-five tonight. On the power play, Manitoba went one for three with 24 minutes, eight infractions, and Milwaukee went one for five with 20 minutes, six infractions. Scoring in the first period at the 141 mark for the Admirals was Phil Tomasino scoring his 11th of the year, assisted by Ozzie Weisblatt, his 12th, and Adam Willsby, his 12th. Then at the 532 mark for Manitoba, Henry Meekinen, Scores his seventh of the year, assisted by Carson Golder, his fourth, and Mark Lewiski, his first. Then in the second period at the 8.30 mark for the Admirals, Narvin Mutter scores his first of the year, assisted by Ryan Ofko, his fifth. Then at the 19.37 mark for Manitoba, Parker Ford scores his 16th of the year on the power play with an assist from Nikita Chibrikov, his 29th, and Brad Lambay. Bear his 33rd. Scoring in the third at the 202 mark was Yuso Parsonen with his seventh with an assist from Igor Afanasi on his 26th and Zachary LaRue his 29th. Uh, then at the 331 mark, Igor Afanasi scores on the power play with an assist from Phil Tomasino his seventh and Ozzy Weisblatt his 13th. Uh, then Axter, Axel Johnson Paulby scores his 11th with an assist from Brad Bear for the most. And then Parker Ford scores his 17th with an assist from Christian Reichel, his 18th. Now, then, with about 54 seconds left in the game, Zachary LaRue scores his 19th with an assist from Igor Afanasiev, his 27th, and Yuso Parson in his 15th. And then at the 1949 mark, Igor Afanasiev scores his 25th unassisted with an empty net goal. Now, LaRue did get a misconduct at the end of the game, uh, around uh, right after uh, Igor's goal. Uh, LaRue now has 197 penalty minutes. He needs three penalty minutes. This weekend alone to break the 200 mark to be the first admiral to do it since Mike Lee Evans. Um, in all retrospect, a lot of LaRue's penalties are brought on by teams just pummeling him. Yeah. Um, I will say this, 
the crowd was amped tonight for a weekday game. It was a winning weekday game, so funny, haha. We all got free tickets to a weekday game next year. Yep. <laughs> they couldn't give it to us for Saturday. Here, you all oh. come to Saturday's game. <laughs> No, that would have overpacked the arena. Yeah. They'd have had standing room only, which would have been cool to watch. Right. But I get it. Um, in net four, the most was Tomas Milic. He stopped 19 of 24. While Yaroslav Askarov was in net for the Admirals, stopping 37 of 41. Yarrow played amazing, except for those couple goals in the end where... It just seemed like the guys were tanked towards the end, and then they called that timeout, and whatever Carl said on the bench. <laughs> Fired right. that back up. I wonder if he said, if y'all want to be doing suicides, we lose in regular, we lose and uh, we go to overtime. So, because <laughs> yeah. they definitely amped it up after that. Um, Falibur's been playing very well. Uh, Mutter has probably played the best game I'd seen him play in a long time. Yeah. Mutter was everywhere. And if you moved and you had a moose jersey on and you were near the puck, he was hitting you. Uh, Mutter played very, very well. Um, I, I I can't knock it in any manner. Um, beyond that, um, Let's check this real quick here. At time of recording. Oh, that is so nice. At time of recording, St. Louis is beating Dallas. Yeah, beating the Stars on nothing at the, the second intermission. That means if Vancouver beats Winnipeg, um, yeah. Um, also, it's looking like the Preds won't start till the 22nd due to the unknown of their schedule. Um, yeah, the Eastern Conference is set, but the Western isn't. Uh, uh, congratulations to Mark andre Fleury. He will be signed a one-year uh, extension. Extension with the uh, Wild. Uh, he will that he announced also it will be his final season. Um, the. The uh, NHL announced its 32 nominees for the King Clancy. And the uh, Preds King Clancy nominee is Roman Yossi. Um, there are, there is. Two former admirals in this as Roman Yossi and Kevin Fiala for the King. Um, most likely to get the King Clancy will be Kale McCarr. But that's just saying how that goes. Um, it is leadership and contributions to the community. It's a popularity contest. <laughs> hmm. Um, out of Everything you've seen the last few games for this Admiral team, I think they're playing with a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. I would definitely say they're playing with a chip on their shoulder. Um, do you think at any point where this is all going, we could be playing again in June? Who knows? I mean, I mean, we have the team to be able to get deep in the playoffs. How deep's the question? I mean, we've got youth. We've got experience. We've got middle-of-the-way guys. We've got guys who have something to prove. Yeah. You know? um, 
I'm sure that the guys who were here last year still have a sour taste in their mouth. Yeah. Seeing that you're going back into the playoffs. This team made a 19-0 and run where nobody could beat them. Didn't matter how good you were. There were teams that came up against us and just ran into us as a like a buzzsaw. Right. Um, and unfortunately, we did that as well with Grand Rapids, and then the next day, Grand Rapids got toasted. So, I mean, I get it. It's It's been an insanely awesome season. I've enjoyed all of it. Um... Would also like to say, um, before we get too far, uh, before we're done, uh, good luck to the Wave on their playoff game on Friday. Um, and good luck to the Preds. Um, I wanted to say publicly thank you to Atlanta and all your fans for watching us this season. Uh, stick around. We've got Admirals and Preds playoffs. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Um... So, thank you for that. Also, hi, Devin Williams. Thanks for watching us. <laughs> yeah. Talk to y'all later and see y'all on the other side.